If you do not know, math was the most intimidating subject for me to wrap my brain around teaching, especially advanced math. So I am here to share with you some of the things that we are using and to give you an in-depth look at the bridge program from math. You see, we're going to talk about it a little bit. I'm going to show you inside. Let's go. Guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are entering our eighth year of homeschooling where we will have a third grader and a seventh grader. Today, I am coming here to talk with you about the bridge program from Matthew C that goes from pre-algebra to algebra one. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Of course, I will have everything that I am talking about linked down below. So let's um, let's see where to start. Okay, one, why are we using the bridge program? And I think that is going to be best answered by some entirely fabricated speculation on my part. So here is the deal. If you are in any middle school, high school, even younger groups talking about math curriculum, there are a lot of people who have very strong feelings, well, about everything, of course, but a lot of people who did not feel like the math you see program up to pre-algebra had properly prepared their kids for the algebra level. And I do not know why, because I did not use it. But it seems that there was a lot of contention around the math you see approach in the algebra level. Now, I think, and this is entirely my speculation, my fabrication, my intuition, tells me that that is why they have actually completely redone the Algebra 1 level. I believe last year was the first year. It's called, what is it called? It's called PSM or something. What does that stand for? I don't actually know what it stands for. I have, I have a pile of books right here. I don't actually know what the PSM stands for. Um, but they have the Legacy, which was kind of the old version. You can still get it. If that works for you, that's great. But then they have this new version and it's going to drive me nuts. Hang on, I have to figure out what PSM stands for. Are we ready? Principles of Secondary Mathematics. Okay, so they said... Our original version wasn't working. We need a new approach. They've gone in and redone it. And the approach is quite different. So the approach of Matthew C before and everything we've used up to now, you watch the video and then you do the workbook, do the test. That's how it goes. We have entered a new realm. And again, speculation on my part is that algebra one, the PSM, which is what we're going to start in the fall when we start up school, uh, in the fall, like it's far away, like in a minute when we start up school, is this Algebra 1 PSM. So somewhere, and I don't even know where, I it was not in any of like the formal buying and purchasing. I think it was like in the reviews and trying to figure out which was which. Um, and I, ha I found a link to a chart in the last video where I was talking about what I was going to buy. So um, if I can find it, I'll try to remember to insert it. But came across the fact that they have online digital access if you have purchased any any of their kits and have the digital access online to the learning toolbox you have access to the bridge and that goes from algebra one to the algebra psm that goes from i'm sorry pre-algebra to the algebra one psm so it is an entirely online based bridge program to make sure that your children are prepped and ready for Algebra 1, which I think was one of the large arguments of the legacy version, Algebra 1 with Matthew C. So once I found this, I was like, this is fantastic. This is great. We have been working through the bridge program over summer because we've completed algebra or pre-algebra in preparation for Algebra 1 PSM. Now, again, it is my speculation because we haven't started using it yet. But I think that the Algebra 1 PSM and the Bridge Program are operated very similarly, where instead of doing all of your learning up front, let me show you. You have, you have, and I printed them all out, but basically you go along with the instructor on the video, which is not Mr. Demi. You go along with the instructor in the video and you're filling out vocabulary words and you're working examples. And then you'll go to your textbook, your workbook, and work through it there. So it is my understanding that these are modeled the same. So I wanted to give you a look at the bridge program today so that you could get a handle on it and see if maybe then it will help you decide 
Algebra 1 Legacy Algebra 1 PSM, or maybe you've seen some of the same criticisms that I have online and you're like, you know what? This fixes that, this fixes those boxes. So let's pop over. I'm going to give you a look inside the program so you can make decisions for yourself. Okay guys, here is the Demi Learning website. And as you can see, there are a lot of available free math resources, but if you click inside digital toolbox, you can access any of the digital packs that you have received up to this point. And right here on the left under digital packs, you will find the bridge materials that get you from the pre-algebra to the Algebra 1 PSM. So the new version of Algebra 1, you can check readiness, you can do skills inventory chart, you can understand more. There's an introductory video. You can figure out what your kids need. There is a formula chart. There's all kinds of helpful information here. And if we go back up on the left-hand side, you will be able to see the different topics that are covered. You may not need them all. We chose to do them all to make sure that we were very ready. And I'm just gonna pick one to click into so that I can show you the format. Now, this is the format of the new Algebra 1 PSM. I have confirmed it. So it's just a video. And then examples, you can print these skills lesson pages, which is exactly what the new instructor goes over in the video. They fill them out in line, just like your kids do. And then right here, you can check the answers with the answers being in red. And then there's a helpful tab to let you know where this content is in the math you see program up to now so that you can go back and, and ensure that you do have those lessons or have found those lessons or where else you would have learned it the first time. So then here you can click into this video, uh, make it large. And I like the format because she does work it directly with your students. So they're each literally writing into the blank at the same time. And I think that's really helpful. Now I am going to go ahead and show you a look at some of those printed. Here they are, the printed skill sheets. I just went ahead and printed them off and my daughter worked them in line with the videos and I will show those to you now. So. As you can see, there are a few of them. Each one is about three to four pages, not a big deal. And it is only one or two pages per lesson of actual kind of work on your own. Most of it is the inline vocabulary, which I really enjoy. I like that shift to more of the word-based explanations. And then it is, you know, several example problems per lesson. And I just printed them out, stapled them together. She didn't have to work them in any particular order. And as you can see, I've got them. And I do think that she's enjoying the newer inline format. How we have been using this program is that we will sit down together, watch everything together, and we will go through and just answer the questions, work the examples, make sure she's fully understanding everything before we move on. But we're just doing this in tandem and sitting down and doing this. Now, along the way, we have actually uncovered at least one mistake, which took me down a whole rabbit hole. So I was messaging uh, Demi Learning about the mistake in the video, in the program, and that took me, they actually have an entire database of things that have been printed in error, which I think is really awesome because they have it right on the page and I'm gonna show it to you. Basically it says, you know, this is a thing, it, it, we do our best, but here's the thing, it could be an issue. Now, I went ahead and printed out all of the corrections for Algebra 1 so that I am prepped, ready, and prepared. So if that is something you need, I just thought that was a really cool feature from Matthew C because again, a lot of places, it's hard to get everything right all the time. And so the fact that they have kind of like just embraced that and said, yeah, my bad. I really appreciate that from a customer service standpoint. So we've used the Matthew C bridge program. We will finish it up. I like it very much. I like the approach. And I really think that if this approach carries through to Algebra 1 PSM, let me show you these books, y'all. If those lessons can get Algebra 1 in our brain, all these books, in this manner, in this teaching manner, I think is going to be a huge success for my learner. She already appreciates the approach so much better. So I think this will actually suit her learning style. I think she's really gonna like the hand holding that comes along with Algebra 1, but also I feel like, especially through the bridge program, it's done in a manner where it's like, 
you're holding their hand, you're holding their hand, you're holding their hand, you push them off the cliff and they have to sink or swim. So I think it is a good approach. I think it's gonna serve my learner very well. And I will be back. I'm gonna try to get a few weeks of school under our belt. I might do like a very first impressions and then come back with a more in-depth review of the Algebra 1 PSM. But I wanted to share with you this bridge program because it's a really big deal to me because I feel like we are ready, we are prepped, we are primed to really tackle Algebra 1 for my, you know, 12 year old seventh grader, which I think is a big deal. So that's it. That's what I feel. I hope you guys enjoyed this look inside the bridge program. Guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns at all, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram. I will have everything linked down below. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Bye.